the channel. The gyms have reopened this weekend, they've reopened in England and I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to make a video telling you exactly what I'll be doing and how I'm safely going to be returning to the gym. At the start of lockdown I wasn't too bothered about going back to the gym, I was getting back into my running but then I got injured and now I'm just really looking forward to getting back into a routine again. However, it's like two days away from opening and I've got to the point where I'm like, do I need to go back straight away? How busy is it going to be on Saturday? I've also left the gym that I was previously at and I'm going to start a new gym. So that's like getting used to new surroundings. And I've got to the point now where I think I'm just going to wait a few weeks and just see what everyone's experiences are, if they've enjoyed it, if it's safe enough to, to go back. And yeah, just taking it from there really. I'm not really in a massive rush to go back. I'm getting a little bit sick of home workouts, but I feel like it's a really good opportunity to well and truly sort my injury out and to focus on other things like mobility and other weaknesses I might have had before lockdown and throughout lockdown. However, when I do go back to the gym, there's going to be a few things that I'm going to be changing up. I'm going to be changing up my whole routine, but the priority for me is just doing it safely and making sure I'm not injured or rushing back into it. So tip number one is don't feel pressured to go back. If you are very into your fitness, you'll probably follow a lot of fitness accounts, YouTube channels, and it does feel like everyone is just going to be heading back to the gym on Saturday. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to. If you don't feel comfortable, if you're a bit apprehensive about what the gym is going to be like, what the whole like process is going to be like, then take a few days, take a few weeks to really think about what you want, what other people's experiences are, and just take it from there. There's no rush to go back to the gym. You've had four months without it. You can go another few weeks without it and just continue doing what you were doing if you're doing anything at all. Continue going for walks, do a few home workouts, focus on your weaknesses, do more mobility so your body's getting ready for, for going back. And just don't feel pressured. Don't feel pressured because everyone else is doing it. Just because everyone else is doing it, it doesn't mean that you have to do it. Number two is lower expectations, which is probably the most important point because the last thing you want is to go to the gym for the first time in four months and get in just straight away because you've just been too excited and tried to lift what you were lifting or something like that. Before lockdown, I was squatting around 70 kg and I know for a fact that because I've done no strength training whatsoever for the past few months, I'm not going to be squatting anywhere near that. So the best way I can describe what I'm doing is I'm just taking it slow. I'm going to treat it like I'm a beginner and just enjoy having new goals, setting new goals and just gradually work my way up because that way I'm not going to get injured. I'm not going to go to the gym for the first time in a few weeks and injure myself and then be out for another four months. That's, like, that's the last thing that you want. So lower your expectations, you're not going to be lifting what you were lifting a few months ago and just enjoy the process. Number three is warm up and cool down because that way you're not going to get injured, you're not going to damage yourself and it's it's important, it's extremely important to do. I understand that a lot of people are lazy when it comes to it, I definitely am, but a lot is definitely going to be changing when I go back to the gym. I want to do things properly, I want to make sure that I look after my body and in order to do that I need to go through the boring parts. As soon as we stop exercising, it is essential to cool down because blood can accumulate in your lower limbs, which is essentially the blood pooling effect. And that can cause dizziness, a drop in blood pressure, can cause fainting. And in the middle of the gym, you, you just, you don't want that to happen. So make sure you cool down, make sure you warm up to prevent injury and just look after yourself. Next, we have mobility, which heavily relates to warming up and cooling down. And to be honest, I, didn't know much about mobility until this year, until lockdown. I, like I keep saying, I'm extremely lazy. I would go and do the exercise, come back home and just not do anything. So for me, it's been really important to work on that weakness and stop being lazy and to really start looking after my body and making sure that I do everything properly in order to not be injured. To begin with, I, I found it boring. I didn't enjoy it, but recently I really started to enjoy it. I, I find it relaxing. I see a massive difference in my performance. For example, yesterday, this week, I uploaded a video of some squat mobility and the difference between the depth of squat that I was doing that morning to that evening was unreal. So I couldn't recommend learning more mobility, implement it in your routine. I'm going to start doing it on my rest days. I'm probably going to do it after my workouts as well, but on my rest days, I'm going to make sure that I do like a full, full body session of mobility to make sure that 
my body is being looked after. So mobility is definitely essential when you get back to the gym. The next point, the, the last point is set smart goals. Be realistic with what goals you're setting. So set short term goals, set medium term goals, set long term goals, and just make sure that they're achievable. Make sure that you avoid disappointment and you don't become demotivated because your goal's unrealistic and you're not achieving it as quick as you'd like to, because that means you're probably not going to have the the drive that you want to go to the gym, you're just going to be left disappointed and no one wants that, no one wants to be left disappointed, you want to enjoy what you're doing. So make sure that when you set goals, they're achievable to your current situation, adapt them to your current situation. For example, when I go back to the gym, I, my goals have changed, so I'm not really bothered about how much I can lift, I'm more focusing on the performance side. But if I was to be focusing on how much I could lift, I'll take squatting for an example, I could squat 70 kg, However, I know for a fact that I can do nowhere near that now because I haven't been lifting anywhere near as much in lockdown. So I need to set short-term goals to in order to achieve that long-term goal. So for example, when I go back, I'll probably just continue doing or just slightly building up what I was doing on dumbbells at home, then make my way to a barbell and then just gradually increasing the weight as time goes on when I feel comfortable doing it. I'm not gonna be going straight into the gym and be like, right, I'm gonna squat 70 kg. It's just not happening, it's not realistic. I'll just crush underneath the barbell. So make sure the goals are realistic so that you can keep motivated, you can keep driven, and you'll get to that long-term goal quicker and safer. I think like the biggest takeaway from all of this is just enjoy it, enjoy being back at the gym, enjoy being back in a routine and just take it easy, take it slow and you'll get to the point where you want to be at in probably quicker than you know it. There's, I definitely believe in muscle memory, I don't think it'll take long to get back to where you were at and just enjoy the process, take every day as it comes and yeah, just enjoy it, enjoy what you're doing and make sure that you keep safe and you continue to look after your body and yeah, just just enjoy going back to the gym, be, be happy, be realistic with what you do. So yeah, those are the five things that I'm going to be thinking about moving forward when I go back to the gym and I hope you got something from it. I hope that it's made you rethink about how you're going to approach the gym and hopefully do it safely. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go and make some fajitas, my favourite food ever. And like, subscribe, comment and I'll see you in the next video.